Let's take advantage of the automatic surface recognition to place the first rafter. But first, let's make some modifications to the roof structure. Select the roof, right click, and choose the Edit Selected Composite Profile command. Remove the insulation, plastic soft skin. Increase the thickness of the lower airspace frame skin to 200 millimeters. Add one more timber roof skin underneath with the same settings as the existing one, timber roof skin. Set the new lower skin as finish and click OK. Open the Roof Settings dialog. You can use the Ctrl plus T shortcut. Turn off the surface override for the edge surfaces and click OK. The skins of the roof will now be visible. Deselect the roof and activate the beam tool. If you would like to skip to the next step, you can apply the Rafter Favorite from the Lesson 7 Favorites folder. In the Beam Default Settings dialog, set up the following parameters. Beam Height and Width, 200. Reference Axis Offset, 100. Inclined Method with 18 degrees. Building Material. Timber Structural Floor Plan Display Home Story Only Projected with Overhead and Entire Element Uncheck the Show Reference Axis checkbox Set the tags to Load Bearing Element and Exterior and then click OK Select the single geometry method in the info box and place the beam along the top plane of the airspace frame skin by clicking its bottom and top corners. Select the roof. Using the info box, turn the roof surface override back on again and hit escape to deselect the roof. Now open the gallery plan, select the already drawn rafter, and use the Control command plus U shortcut. In the Multiply dialog, enter 12 for the number of copies, and click OK. Click on the top left corner of the rafter. Then hold down the Shift key to limit the horizontal mouse movement, and click on the top left corner of the roof. Click anywhere in the empty screen or press Escape to remove the selection of newly created elements. Select the roof and using the Pet Palette command, offset all its edges outwards by 20 millimeters to avoid artifacts of the overlapping beams and the roof elements surfaces. Using the info box, uncheck the Cover Fill option and hit Escape. 